We were young, 21, 22, and at that age, you don't sit around discussing why things aren't possible. You sit around discussing why you're going to do them. And we wanted to do it because nobody had done it. I've been a car fanatic since I was age two, and it was just to achieve something for a British company to show off our expertise and what we can achieve. There was nothing else like it in the world that the ordinary person could apply for and, and get on a team to represent their country. It was hailed as the ultimate off-road adventure and it was just something we both wanted to be part of. We called ourselves the Oxford and Cambridge Far Eastern Expedition and uh, 62 years ago in this vehicle and another one, we were going to try to do something that nobody had ever done before, though they tried, and that was to drive from Europe to Singapore entirely by land. Six months later, we arrived in Singapore at the Rover Car Company's agents on Orchard Road. I remember it well. Great. My name is Gavin Thompson, and I took two Range Rovers from Alaska to Cape Horn, a distance of 17,084 miles, and amongst the, the trip was a trip between the Darien Gap. They had not seen a Range Rover at all in North and South America, so it was very good to show everybody what the Brits can do. <laughs> we were just in our element. We'd wanted to get on Camel Trophy for years. It was a once-in-a-lifetime adventure. You only get to take part once, so we've made it and really wanted to make the most of it. To this day, here we are nearly 30 years later, feeling that we are winners of the Camel Trophy. We feel very proud. Seeing the old thing brought back from St Helena, I didn't think one could be moved, that I could be moved by seeing an old scrap metal. So um, 62 years on, to say I'm tickled would be uh, putting it very mildly. We lived in them for nearly a year. They were our homes. No power steering, no synchronous gearbox, no air conditioning. Proper vehicle, that one. It was hard work, certainly, but obviously a trip of a lifetime from Alaska to Cape Horn. It was an enormous sense of achievement. I was so pleased to show Land Rover that we had done it. We'd got the vehicle to the bottom, this was our home for three weeks, and with two journalists as well, so there's four of us living in it. If you see what we went through and what the car's been through, I don't think any other vehicle would have made it. Good on you. <laughs> I think a most phenomenal group of people who have done such a magnificent job in producing a vehicle which is renowned around the world. There's a real authenticity to Land Rover, which makes them very, very special, and that goes right through to all the modern Land Rovers now. They've got that sense of history, which is very important. Land Rover is recognised as an outstanding brand. I think the nation has good cause to be proud of it.